Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsorry.com. So this is a humble attempt to explain bacterial cell structure with 10 multiple choice questions. At the end of the discussion, hopefully you will be getting a clear cut idea about the components in a prokaryotic cell. Question number one, which of the following is a typical feature of a prokaryotic cell? Options are A, absence of DNA, B, absence of nucleus, C, absence of RNA, D, absence of cell wall. As you all know, the most important criterion for classifying cell is the presence or absence of nucleus. In the case of eukaryotic cell, this genetic material is surrounded by a nuclear membrane. Whereas in the case of prokaryotic cell, genetic material is scattered without a nuclear membrane or without a well-defined nucleus. As the term prokaryote indicates, pro means before, karyo means nucleus. Therefore, the answer is absence of nucleus. DNA, RNA and cell wall all are present in a prokaryotic cell. Question number two. The region in prokaryotic cell where double-stranded single circular DNA is present is called as A. Nucleoplasm B. Nucleus C. Nucleoid D. Protonucleus in the very first question we discussed that prokaryotic cell there is no nucleus or nucleus is absent therefore the region where the genetic material or DNA is present is called as a nucleoid region it is double stranded single circular DNA often called as bacterial chromosome question number three ribosomes involved in protein synthesis in prokaryotic cells are a 80s b 70s c 60s plus 40s d 50 plus 40s so this is a typical character of a prokaryotic cell where the ribosome is 70s that is made up of larger subunit which is 50s and smaller subunit 30s whereas in the case of eukaryotes it is 60s plus 40s forming an 80s ribosome question number four extra chromosomal self-replicating double-stranded circular DNA molecules present in bacteria are called episomes, B plasmid, C plastid, D extra chromosomes. Apart from the genetic material in bacteria, there are DNA which is self-replicating and circular that is called as plasmids. Plasmids have variety of functions and this is a plasmid. Some are called as R plasmid, which provide the bacteria with antibiotic resistance. Some are involved in conjugation. Such plasmids are called as fertility plasmid. Some can produce bacteriotoxins like colicins that can inhibit growth of other strains. So, plasmid is simply double standard circular DNA molecules that provide bacteria with certain advantages. Question number five. The membrane is in foldings which is thought to be the site of DNA replication in bacteria is called A plasmids, B nucleoids, C mesosomes, D pili. So this is the plasma membrane. So you can see this membrane is in foldings and this is called as mesosome. Mesosome is thought to be having many prominent functions like involved in DNA replication, respiration, cell division site of many enzymatic reactions therefore answer is C mesosomes now question number six the cell wall of eubacteria is made up of options are A cellulose B peptidoglycan C phospholipids D chitin so this is the cell wall of a bacteria let us zoom in the structure of the cell wall chemically this is the cell wall it is made up of peptidoglycan. You can see n acetyl glucosamine and n acetyl muramic acid. Both are sugars and these sugar chains are joined by peptides. That is why it is called as peptidoglycan. Sugars joined by amino acids chains or peptides. Therefore, the option is B. Plants are having cellulosic cell wall where chitin is seen in fungus. In the case of archaebacteria, there are polysaccharides. Moving into question number seven, the extracellular appendage which helps in movement in bacteria is called options A pili, B flagella, C flagellin and D capsule. 
and it's a very simple question as you all know the structure that is involved in movement or locomotion is called as flagellum and this is a bacterial flagellum let us zoom in this bacterial flagellum is having three parts there is a basal body then there is a hook and a filament some important features of bacterial flagellum include it is made up of protein called flagellin and the driving force is movement of protons whereas in the case of eukaryotic flagella it is made up of tubulin and also it is ATP driven moving into question number eight extremely fine extracellular structures involved in cell to cell contact is called as options a flagella b cilia c pili d spiny so these are the fine structures that is involved in cell to cell contact Pili is involved in conjugation during conjugation bacteria donor bacterium contacts with the recipient bacterium by means of this structure and gene transfer takes place through these pili then it is called a sex pili so a prominent structure involved in conjugation of bacteria question number nine in some bacteria there is a slimy layer outside the cell wall considered as virulence factor is called as options a capsule b plasmid c outer layer d fimbriae so this is a capsule layer that is seen outside to the cell wall in some bacteria often this capsule layer protects bacteria from desiccation also these bacteria are more virulent and more pathogenic compared to non-capsulated bacteria question number 10 which of the following are characteristics of the prokaryotic cells a absence of nucleus b absence of cell organelles c presence of 70 si bosomes d all of the above i'm sure that you will be definitely knowing this answer and that's it we have started from dna and the final question is the general characteristics of prokaryotic cell send your suggestions for improving this method thank you so much for your support you are with biology exams